Welcome back to the show, all you cyberpunks and retro nerds. It's Tommy the Hammer hanging out with Amber. And today we are going to be trying out some Pakistani soda pop that my good friend Robin gave me at work many moons ago. I'm talking a couple of weeks ago before the whole quarantine thing happened. They've been sitting in my fridge for quite some time now. And I've been itching to try them out. This is called Pacola. probably universal <laughs> so I don't know I feel like if anything it'll be less sweet than an American mm -hmm. soda but then again if is this actually a Pakistani or was it made here oh well, this is Pakistani I okay. looked it up online we're gonna be checking out the color of it and the smell and then of course the flavor and then stick around I've got a very special it's green whoa <laughs> end cap to the episode where we'll be trying it with some crown royal Wow, that is quite it the looks, green. It, My god, look at that! It looks radioactive. Yeah, this looks like, whoa, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mutagen. Oh no, they're gonna cover them with retro mutagen. Oh, That's what it looks like. It looks like fucking mutagen. It's or, so green. Oh, that is... Ah, uh, it smells like a flower. You know, it's... It I'm, smells like church. I'm immediately reminded of this old candy I used to have back in the day called Turkish Delight. Down the hatch, just give it the old taste test. Cheers, thank you, Robin. It tastes like old candy. <laughs> okay, no. it does taste like Turkish oh. Delight. It tastes identical to it in liquid form. It's like a cold soda pop Turkish Delight. I'm not a fan, I don't like it. I wouldn't reach for this you know, when I want to like have french fries or, or pizza and I need a pop to kind of wash it down. This is very specific. So we're going to go ahead and mix the two together and see if uh, it makes for an interesting combination. And then this way, you'll know if Bacola mixes with Crown Royal Vanilla well enough. Okay. It didn't really change the color. No, not at all. Cheers down the hatch. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, if you're not crazy about the, the Pakistani soda pop flavor, then mix it up with some hard alcohol and you might actually like it. I think this is a winner. This is definitely a flavor that I could get into, so I like it a lot. Like the scent throws me off because I'm someone if I smell it, it doesn't matter what it tastes like, it tastes like what it smells to me. And like, I don't know, when I drank it, it, the smell was still in my nose and it was like this weird like it permeates it makes me think I'm like drinking perfume <laughs> yeah. So out of ten stars, what would you give a cola? Me? Um, I don't know personally like a four cuz I, I don't That's not so it. bad for me. I would have to give it maybe five out of ten but if you mix it with whiskey it bumps it up easily to maybe a six, six and a half out of ten. Cheers. I feel like that wasn't a good ratio. <laughs> uh, yeah, you gotta do proper mixing, for sure. 